Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about using transitions in Content Studio and how to utilize the layout storyboard in Content Studio as well. And if you're wondering what a transition is, a transition is a visual effect that occurs between slides in a presentation. And they're a really nice way to kind of add just a little bit of animation to your presentations for your Dactronix display. So let me take you through and show you how you can set those up. Right now, we are looking at uh, kind of a, a basic message here. Join us on May 5th for our grand opening. And this is a good start. We've got a nice background image and then some yellow text over the top there. But we want to improve on this a little bit. So I'm actually going to extend this into three different slides or three different layouts. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come down here to my layout storyboard and I'm going to right click on my layout and copy and then I can just right click and paste. And that's just kind of a neat little trick to kind of carry over everything that I created on my first slide so then I can make some changes. If you just want to add a, another layout and you just want it to be blank, you can also right click down here and go to add new layout. And you can see that'll just add another slide or another layout, and that will be blank. Now, I've done some of this work ahead of time to save us some time. So let me bring that over here. And what I did is I took that message and I just divided it up into our main ideas. So I went grand opening, May 5th, and join us. And I did that by just copy and pasting that layout, and then just going in and editing my text and making it larger so it's easier to read, and that's just a better way to lay out your message. Now, if I go down here to the bottom right and click the play button, you can see how this will appear on my display. And it looks pretty good. Grand opening, May 5th, join us. But to kind of jazz that up a little bit, we can use transitions in Content Studio. So to add a transition, there's this little hourglass looking icon right next to each layout. And all you need to do to add a transition is just click right on there. And then you can choose from any of these transitions. And if you wanna know what they look like, you kinda of just have to play around and add them in and then click play and see how they look. So for this first one, I'm gonna do unveil out. I'm just gonna click right there. For my second slide, I'm going to do unveil in, which is this one here. And for my third slide, I am going to do, let's do unveil open. So that's all there is to adding those transitions. You can see it changes that little um, icon there. So I know that my transitions are on each slide. And if I come down to the bottom right, again, this is my preview button. I'm going to click play. You can see grand opening, May 5th, join us. And it's just adding that little effect to uh, kind of make my message look better. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, so hopefully you can see it a little bit better and press play again. And that's what transition effects between your slides look like. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, I will say if you click on that transition option again, Again, we've got all those different transition. There's fades, there's scrolls and rolls and wipes and zooms and all that stuff. So just try them out, have fun with them. Um, if you do want to change the length of time or the duration of the transition, there's an option right here for change duration. And if I change that to, let's say, from one second to two seconds, basically that's just going to slow it down a little bit. So then if I click play, you can see it just takes a little longer to make that transition. So that's something you can play with as well and try to make your messages look better. Um, before I leave you here, just a couple of quick notes on the changes I made to improve that message. I, I think I made my outline on my text thicker, uh, you'll notice, so that that black outline helps that text stand out from the background. And then basically what I did is I just um, try to use as few words as possible per slide and uh, that grabs people's attention a little faster and a little more and um, uh, gets your message across so you, that your Dactronics display is um, being used to its full potential. So 
hopefully that helps with uh, you guys using transitions. Try that out and uh, be sure to click subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Appreciate that. Otherwise, check out more videos at blog.dactronics.com and we will see you next time. Thanks.